Hey guys, this is Echo Sowers with another tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel and you want to do that to stay up to date with all of our tutorials, you can do that at YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Toots. So that was a quick demo of the sound we'll be making today in Massive. Uh, it's this top section here. Uh, it's kind of a cool emotional sounding uh, progressive trance lead. You could use it in a few other genres, but I was dinking around with some progressive trance stuff, so this is what came of it. And this is just a really simple bass. It's just to accompany it and kind of give it some low end. But let's jump right into this and get going. It's actually a pretty simple sound to make, which is nice. So I have a new instance of Massive already pulled up. I'll mute the other bass. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is in oscillator one, we're going to take the pulse saw waveform, and you're going to keep the first two knobs all the way up, turn down the amp to just maybe about a little bit above, a little bit above um, 50%, and we're going to turn the slider up to almost all the way to where you can just barely see the tip of the F and the one, and we're going to detune this to negative 0.22 to kind of give it that uh, unison spread sound. And just real quick, I'm going to turn this uh, the filter slider up to serial instead of parallel. Because we'll be using both of the filters for the sound. In oscillator 2, I'm going to select the exact same wave wavetable, and I'm going to pitch this up to 0.16. I'm going to turn the amp down to about halfway. I'm going to do the same thing with the filter slider. And then in oscillator 3, again, uh, same waveform. So this is basically just a kind of a saw stack. Um, I'm going to take the amp down to about halfway as well, and I'm going to turn the filter slider all the way up for this one. All right, now in the modulation oscillator, we're going to activate the phase, and we're going to activate it for uh, oscillator 1. And what you're going to do is you're just going to give it a little bit. So here's what cranking it sounds like. I'm just doing this to make the sound a little bit more digital, a little bit more rough around the edges, I guess. And in the noise oscillator, I'm going to select bright noise. I'm going to turn the amp up to about right there. You can keep the color all the way, and we're going to crank up that slider. You can keep the feedback off. Let me go to my routing tab, my routing tab real quick and make sure that's set up properly. And it is. All right, so what we'll do in the uh, insert one, we're going to select the filter. So activate it, and it's the high pass, low pass, but it'll just show filter. And I'm going to turn the high pass down uh, to just probably about 30, 25 or 30, and the low pass up. So that and the bright noise are adding a little bit of thickness to the sound. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our voicing tab, because that's pretty important for any kind of trance lead. I'm going to turn the unison, or the unisono, up to 4. I'm going to activate the pitch cutoff wave tail position and the pan position. And I'm going to just drag this out a little bit so you can start to see this the first uh, few crosshairs there, maybe just the first two. And we're going to keep everything else how it is, keep it on centered. And we're going to turn, like I said, the wave tail position on and just bump that up a little. And then the pan position, we're going to crank uh, just a little bit above mono to the right. All right, so that will pretty much cover the voicing. So next, let's go on now that we have the oscillator set up, the noise oscillator and the insert effects. Let's go to our filter one. And in filter one, we're going to select low pass four, and we're going to select low pass four for filter two as well. And drag your slider up on both of them. And we're going to drag the slider down to um, mix one and two. And so what that's, what that's doing, uh, you'll see, because you might be thinking, why am I using... Uh, two low passes. You'll see how it affects the sound with some different parameters. One will be modulated with an envelope, and you'll kind of see how when it's set to serial, that how it's passing through uh, both of them in that way, that it kind of adds a little bit of thickness to the sound. So that'll make a little bit more sense as we go on. But now that we have that pretty much squared away, it's going to be a really weird sound. Crank the uh, cutoff up on the first um, filter and turn the resonance down a little. All 
So you can see that right now it's set the filter twos on. You can see how they're they are already affecting each other and they do kind of create a different sound. So I'm gonna turn this resonance down on the filter two and keep this cutoff for it about halfway. And we're going to go to our first envelope and we're gonna take crank that attack down, the level you can keep where it's at, the decay to to keep out halfway, the level all the way down, and then turn this crank this release up a good amount so that line is kind of in the reset word somewhere in there and you can keep it on gate. That's all good. So then we'll modulate that cutoff of that filter too. All right, and then let's go to uh, uh, envelope four. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna turn the velocity up on this. And the key tracking up. And in uh, envelope four, we're gonna do the same thing. Turn the velocity up a little bit so it's a little less uh, responsive. And then the key tracking up as well. Turn the attack down, the level you can keep where it's at, decay at about halfway. Um, and then you're going to, um, for the for the level, we're actually going to boost that with a, another envelope here in a second. So you can kind of keep that where it is actually. I'm gonna turn this decay down a pinch. Again, turn the release up to about a little bit a little above halfway. And what's really cool is you'll hear that sound right now. It almost sounds like I have reverb on it. But I do not. That's just the releases. That's just the combination of having the envelope, I mean the envelope one modulating filter two and the fourth envelope cranking up that release. So, so that's always a good sign is uh, if you if the sound sounds pretty cool, big and thick, uh, without any effects, it's a good sound. A lot of sounds are just drenched in reverb and delay, and you can get cool sounds from it, absolutely. But uh, it'll tend to be bigger and fit in a mix better if it sounds good dry. All right, and then I'm going to turn the attack down on this, the, the decay down, the level down, the release up just a little. And I'm going to modulate the level of my fourth envelope with envelope two. That way, this shape right here is actually controlling the loudness instead of just having like a linear line. Kind of makes it more expressive to my ear, which I like. All right, and then let's go to our oscillator tab. And I am going to Make sure I have this set right. I'm going to turn the depth down on this macro. I'm going to actually use this. And then the rate, we're going to turn that knob down just a little bit as well. And we're going to turn that vibrato macro up a little. Probably about, just to be about 55, 60% around there. And I'm also going to take this second envelope that we have, and I am going to um, make sure that the release is out to this box. I forgot to mention that before. It's pretty important to that sound. All right, and then let's go to our third envelope. And we're going to use this to control the bright noise. So what we're going to do with it is we are just going to turn this attack down, keep the level where it is, the decay about halfway, crank that level down to about 20%. And then we're actually going to keep the release where it is. So this line right here should be around one shot, in between one and shot. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to modulate the amp of my bright noise. Just until it's a level that I'm, I'm cool with and that I like, and I'll have it right there. And now let's go to our FX one slot, and we're going to select the delay synced, as with any, um, I'm sorry, we're going to select the actual delay here. Um, for the dry wet, I'm going to crank it all the way up. I'm going to turn up the damp, and the left time I'm going to turn down a good amount, and the right time I'm going to turn down. So that's just making the sound really wide. It's not actually adding too much of like a sync, syncopated delay or anything like that. So then I'm going to add some reverb, as with any trans, progressive trance lead, reverb is, is usually involved. And uh, what we're going to do is, with that third envelope that we created, we're actually going to control the dry wet of it here. I'm going to drag it downwards, though.
All right, and I was just adjusting the delay a little bit to turn it, tone it down. And I'm gonna boost the low shelf, boost the high shelf, the frequency just a little. So there's with no filter, here's with filter one. And here's with filter two. It really helps tame the sound, but still it's a little bit of that high end, uh, the high end harmonics through, which is cool to make the sound a little bit bigger. So that's basically it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't headed over to MassiveSynth.com, check it out. Tons of, tons of presets, tutorials, everything massive. And I'll see you next time.